Welcome to PJ Safaris. This episode is brought to you by Safari Taxidermy and African Safari Films, capturing your every adventure. In this episode, we are joined by Brad from Alaska, USA. On the safari, Brad turned 68, and boy, what a day that turned out to be. Follow us as we hunt the Limpopo Valley Game Reserve with PJ Safaris. Another day tomorrow, my friend. Another day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Morning of day one. Here we go. We're ready. We already saw a couple Niala. We're looking for, uh, let's see, Shem's Buck, Kyukudu, Eland, West Buck, Spring Buck, uh, Stein Buck, and Impala today. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. That is a lifetime dream. A kudu on my birthday. <clears throat> oh, long stock. So I looked to the right and I, when he saw him, I saw him too. Oh, that was amazing. Well done, Brad. Well, thank you. It's been a great this, experience. Great oh stalk. my gosh, this was incredible. I'm telling you, this was 
Well, this, this was everything to come to Africa for. That's my number one trophy right there, so. And you know, to shoot a kudu bull this old, I mean, he's been, yeah. he steps his wand off. <laughs> oh, wow. He looted so many hunters in his life before, yeah. and then you the lucky guy that can take him out. All right, Brad, so this is basically the second morning of the safari. Um, we had some awful weather yesterday. It's just so cold. But needless to say, um, this morning we went out, and um, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on your 68th birthday. Um, normally, good things happen on your birthday. How about that. Yes. So, this morning we went out early. It was quite cool. Sun was out, beautiful morning. And um, we spotted a kudu bull with a cow. I actually used a windmill as an advantage point. So we were sneaking up on them and um, yeah, then the bull disappeared for a moment there and I thought, okay, let's quickly get to some more opening to see if he's still going after the cow and then we bumped into this old warrior and uh, he had no idea we were there, he was busy feeding. As you can see, the rut is still on, so their minds are a little bit on a different spot and um, we managed to get up to, I would say, run about a 120, 130 yards. And um, yeah, we just waited for him to step out a bit more and you gave him a perfect shot, dropped him right in his tracks. What a way to start. Yes, absolutely. And I, all I can say is this is a dream come true for somebody who's been reading about Kudu since he's eight years old. So uh, thank you so much yeah, it's been a big pleasure uh, oh, i have enjoyed my this is my second trip here and i am just enjoying every minute of this and we've got a lot more to come yet, yeah. So, yeah and we enjoy having you here thank thanks you. brad thank you Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to your Brad, happy birthday to you. There we go. Your plates please, gentlemen. There we go. Oh, 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 That's sorry. Perfect. Put it on the side there like that, so.
Well said. Thank you, sir. Big pleasure. Oh, you did well. Man. You did well. It's a bull. It is a bull. <laughs> I knew that. Small target. They dropped it. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a day this has been, huh? decided to go for uh, Springbok. Only saw one and did a stock on it and it disappeared. And there was some Impala and a bunch of Springbok. And uh, actually there was two males there. So we did a, um, a stock on it and uh, had to, took quite a while and we got down to them. Eugene put the sticks up and I got the gun up on. I was ready to shoot the, uh, the spring buck and he had all kinds of females behind him. 
and then just like it was supposed to, they separated. Eugene told me that they often, when they're pronking, that section comes up, and I imagine the smell has something to do with them, but uh, it was a real good day. That off now. Well, Brad, here we are at the Pafuri Gate in Kruger National Park yeah. for your day trip. We're going to see if we can spot some elephants and some big buffaloes. <laughs> this is amazing. So we'll see what today holds. Alrighty, yeah. let's do. Let's go. Okay. So we're officially in the park. Hey Brad. Yeah. Last morning. <laughs> Here we are. So still a little bit chilly in the morning, but we're going after a Niala today. So All right, so Brad, we came to the last day of your 10-day safari. Um, we started off with a bang. I mean, I don't think we could have asked for a better start. Then it became a little bit more difficult here towards the middle end of the safari, and we've been chasing after Eland uh, for a couple of days. Then decided, okay, let's try a hand on a, a nice old Nyala bull. Chased that around for a day or so, and... Um, yeah, yesterday we took the day off, mm -hmm. went to Kruger National yes. Park just to reset the mines and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I think within 10 15 minutes, we started this morning. We came across this old Nyala bull, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. obviously, it's the last day, so we have to take the opportunities we get. It was not the perfect angle we were asking for to shoot at, but you still made a perfect shot, went down, just finished him off. And yeah, so here we are. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was <laughs> it was a surprise to me, but uh, yeah, we've had a couple couple slow days. Yes, but we're we're right back where we started again, and uh, ending with a a great Niala bull, and I'm very pleased with it. 
And yeah, you're right, we didn't get the perfect shot on him, but it looked like he was going to bolt and it was time to take him. So. Yeah. Well, the thing is, once you get specific on a, on a species, in the beginning it's easy, you, you chase after six, seven or eight different species, so whatever you bump into, you can take. But um, once you start looking for something specific, then yes. they tend to hide. Um, but yeah, we were very, very fortunate this morning. You can see how this bull has worn down his horns. Nice, mm -hmm. old, mature Nyala bull. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can ask for, for a better trophy. I agree. I and agree. Yeah. And PJ Safaris has just been wonderful to me. I've had such a wonderful time here. This is my second trip to Africa, and I'm sure it won't be my last. And it'll be with PJ Safaris. Well, we thank you very much for, for everything, Brad. Mm -hmm. And it's been a big, big pleasure having you here. And yeah, for, for your return, uh, return trip, we're looking forward to that as well. Yeah. Airport. Here we are. On your way home? Yes. You said? Wrong wrong way to go right now, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss it, but you know, you gotta go home so that you can go back on another vacation. So mm -hmm. so there we are.